Hello, welcome back to another registry review. Um, this will be for mammography and I have questions and answers. The topic in today's video will be special procedures. So we'll be talking about biopsies and other imaging modality in radiology. And this is the content specification for ART. There will be about 65 questions under procedures. So I'm following ART because I have my certification through them, but you can use this for any registry review or board exam that you will be taking. All right, now is Q and A time. If you are new to my videos, I do like to read the question and the answers, and then I go over the answer and explanation. I just do it for several reasons. I've had people tell me that they listen to me in the background while they are either driving or cleaning up. So sometimes me narrating the video is helpful for people that cannot sit in front of the screen. But of course, if the audio bothers you, you can always just mute it and listen to or watch the video like that. So for the questions and answers for this video, we're going to talk about the procedures um, for mammography, breast ultrasound, and then talk about other imaging modalities that images the breast. Question one, which procedure involves removing fluid from a cyst while using a needle? Is it aspiration, core biopsy, preoperative needle localization, or stereotactic biopsy? I'll give you a few minutes and then I'll give you the answer or a few moments. Okay, the correct answer is aspiration. And aspiration is the procedure that is used to remove fluid from a cyst while using a needle. These are done under ultrasound guidance. Um, I haven't seen a radiologist use lidocaine before aspirating the cyst, but you can feel free to comment below. Let me know if you've seen your radiologist use lidocaine or not. Um, but this is an image of how a cyst looks, and you can see the white like behind it or underneath it that's a good um, indication that this could be a cyst but of course um, if the if the imaging doesn't look clear because of other aspects within the image then the radiologist will probably go ahead and do a biopsy question two which procedure involves collecting core samples from a suspicious area for a histological analysis? Is it aspiration, core biopsy, preoperative needle localization, or stereotactic biopsy? And if I'm going too fast, you can always pause it or rewind it. The correct answer is core biopsy. A core biopsy is a procedure that is done to collect core samples for a questionable or suspicious area for histological purposes. This will determine if the area is benign or malignant. Question three. Which procedure is used to evaluate patients with abnormal nipple discharge? Is it aspiration, core biopsy, lithography, or fine needle aspiration biopsy? The correct answer is lithography. This is a procedure that is performed to evaluate patients for an abnormal nipple discharge. A small amount of contrast is injected into the ducts during this procedure. This procedure is done to see the location and number of the lesions. Um, if you've seen one of these before or have performed one as a student, could you let me know in the comment box? I've only seen this come in the facility one time and another tech performed this. So just let me know if this comes into your facility often. I know at my facility, 
I probably the last one I've seen was probably three years ago. I haven't seen another one since. Question four, which procedure is used to obtain cellular material for a suspicious breast tissue area? Is it aspiration, core biopsy, ductography, or fine needle aspiration biopsy? Fine needle aspiration biopsy. This is a procedure that is done under breast ultrasound. It's going to obtain cellular material from an area of question or concern that is within the breast. And the difference between this one and the core biopsy is the core biopsy is a procedure that is done to collect core samples for a questionable or suspicious area for histological analysis purposes. And then you can see uh, what to expect at the top on this picture. Um, number one, the doctor locates a lump by feeling it or, you know, seeing it under ultrasound. And then number two, the, well, numbing medicine is applied before the biopsy is done. And then after that, then the needle will go in. And then that's when the samples are taken and sent off to the lab. Question five, which procedure is performed on non-palpable lumps or abnormalities? Aspiration, core biopsy, fine needle aspiration biopsy, or preoperative needle localization? It would be needle localization. This is also called a needle loc. You may hear it be called that. And it is performed on non-palpable lumps and abnormalities. This is done for lesions or microcalcifications as well. The lesion is localized to a specific area of the breast since the surgeon cannot feel the lump. So whenever this is seen is seen on mammogram you know patients are probably just coming in for their screening mammogram they couldn't feel a lump but something was seen on their mammogram and then this is an image of the the wire that's going into the area and this information right here is important for you to know i'm just giving you like a quick overview of what was like covered on like another video I did, it just breaks down the anatomy and procedures more in depth. But just remember a malignancy is only confirmed through a histological or cytological analysis test. So are you comfortable at performing biopsies? I would like to know in the comment box if you can just leave a comment under the video and just let me know. Are you comfortable with performing biopsies? Have you done them often? Have you seen them or shadow or participate paid in them um so just let me know in the comment box how do you feel about performing biopsies have you had the chance to watch or perform them question six the tissue that is removed during a biopsy procedure is called is it connective tissue a cyst fi fibroglandular tissue or specimen It is called a specimen. So a specimen is the tissue that is, is removed during a biopsy procedure. This is going to confirm or be confirmed by x-raying the breast specimen. This is the specimen that you see in the image. Then you also see the surgical clips around it and the clip that looks like a ribbon. The specimen is going to confirm whether or not the correct lesion was taken and if the calcifications were removed along with the lesion. Question seven, the primary reason for a cyst aspiration is to, is it to confirm the type of cyst, reduce the size of the lump caused by the cyst, relieve the pain caused by the cyst, or to see how often the cyst will reappear?
So the answer is to relieve the pain caused by a cyst. And as you can see, this is a cyst. So when the aspiration is done, it's primarily done to relieve the pain, um, given that those symptoms are causing the patient like a lot of pain coming from the cyst. But most cysts are commonly watched and observed. And of course, if it's getting larger, if the patient is uncomfortable because they can feel it a lot and is very discomforting at night or discomforting in general, then the radiologist will offer to aspirate it. But if it's like a tiny cyst, normally they just watch it and just follow it on their mammogram or follow it on other imaging like breast ultrasound. Question eight, which procedure is performed to rule out a malignancy for microcalcifications? Is it aspiration, core biopsy, fine needle aspiration biopsy, or stereotactic biopsy? The answer is a stereotactic biopsy. This is normally performed if a lesion is not palpable and can be seen the best on the mammography machine. And this procedure is also performed for microcalcifications. And um, let me know if you know anything about MRI. I work as an MRI tech as well. So I just have like some tips for you because in MRI, we do have to scan the breast for several reasons. If a cancer was diagnosed, if a patient has dense breast tissue, um, something relating to their implants. So if you know anything about MRI, let me know in the comment box. I do, I believe I have like a video about breast MRI. If not, just let me know if you want me to make one. But the tips that you need to know for breast MRI, if a suspicious area is seen only on breast MRI exams, the radiologist may recommend an MRI-guided breast biopsy to rule out a malignancy. A clip will be placed just like how a clip is placed under mammo or breast ultrasound. So this is how the patient will lay. At my facility I work at, the patient lay on the table like that. That's a breast core the patient's breast is fitting into, but the patient head is going actually inside of the machine. And then this is an image of the breast. This is considered an axial image. The area on the breast that you see is white. That's where the contrast has gone in to the breast tissue. Question nine, which imaging modality uses gadolinium contrast while imaging the breast tissue? Is it breast MRI, breast ultrasound, computed tomography, also known as CT, or nuclear medicine? Breast MRI. Another form of contrast is doterum that we use in MRI, but um, it's gadolinium based and it's going to help visualize the breast better, also to detect any abnormality or lesions. Question 10, which imaging modality uses sound waves to image the breast tissue? Is it breast MRI, breast ultrasound, computed tomography, or mammography. Breast ultrasound. So breast ultrasound does not use any form of radiation. Also keep in mind that breast MRI, it's, it's not using radiation either. It's using like, it's like a big giant magnet. So the hydrogen in our body is helping to produce the images in MRI. So MRI does not use radiation either. So this is very important. This is just information I want to tell you. So if you go to my mammography registry review playlist on my YouTube page, because I have other videos 
on x-ray work vlogs daily vlogs different things like that so the easiest way to get to all of my videos all in one is to go to my playlist so these are just questions that i gave you for this video just you know just a handful of questions but if you watch this video this video will cover pretty much all you need to know as far as anatomy procedures it has more images it goes more in depth than the questions that i gave you i always tell people whenever you are studying for your registry don't skip the lessons and just go to the review questions and answers it's going to be very hard for you to pass like that it's better to just get familiar with the text and then you can review the questions and answers because you just you do not know how the questions will be asked and it's not good to only focus on questions and answers it's good to know the lesson and then focus on the questions answers and explanation so i hope that helps i'm going to try to remember to um, link this video at the end of this lesson for you to just easily click on but you can also find it in my playlist it would be titled like how you see it right here and the image will look how you see it right there very informative um, i advise everyone to check it out because it gives you more information than what i gave in this video all right that's it for this video if you enjoyed it and you found the video to be helpful please give it a thumbs up you can also leave any comments um any anything that you would like for me to know or like for someone else to know are you nervous about performing biopsies have you seen them a lot and it's second nature to you also i want to give a shout out to the ladies who either passed their registry shout out to Arja Leah Castro, um, she passed her registry. She came back and let me know. So whenever you do take and pass your registry, if you don't mind, could you just come back on one of the MAMO videos and just let me know that you passed it and if you found my videos helpful to you. Also, shout out to Cherie Thompson. Um, she was listening to my videos and i asked in the video or at the end hey if you want more review questions let me know and she was kind enough to comment and tell me to put more review questions or post more because uh, just posting just seeing these comments just motivate me to keep posting these videos because if i don't see them then i may think that you already have the information you need or i may think my videos aren't as helpful so leaving comments giving the video a thumbs up even subscribing it just lets me know that you find the video helpful and to just make more so that's it for this review if you would like more questions uh, please let me know and i hope you enjoy the video thank you for watching and bye